Four beds over there, and Frances is painting her new shed, which at the moment looks an awful lot like a new shed. An astonishing shade of primrose yellow. You said bling, right? That's, that's bright. Bling, not custard. I set Katie the frankly impossible task of combining a vegetable patch with a... In case my tiles weren't zebra enough... Chris, just try that in the bed here. I've ordered some semi-transparent screens to help divide the different zones of the garden. They're ideal for small plots because they enable you to create different areas without blocking the view. Sort of goes, oh, just in there. Just like that. It's a brilliant idea, that, actually. Oh, thank you, David. Nice. At the back, Katie has just two beds, so hanging plants are another way to add colour without using space. But I'm not sure about these, Francis. Glitter ball hanging baskets, anyone? I'm going to plant them up with things like this ivy with lovely variegated leaves. will look very beautiful hanging from the pergola, and I hope the whole effect will be very, very glamorous for Pat. Three of Pat's friends, Rache, Sophie and Natasha, have stopped by to give her a hand. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? All three were helped and supported by Pat when they were young. How important was the Children's Burns Club to you guys? Very important because you feel isolated as a kid. You feel like you're the only one. You know, I'm confident now, whereas in 2001 when I had my accident, I just wasn't, you know. I don't think I would be the person I am today without it. If I hadn't been to camp, I don't think I would have moved out, let alone got a job, because I was always so afraid of everybody else around me. I don't think I would have met my husband. I don't think I would have got married. And then Pat made my wedding dress. Really? That's amazing. <laughs> she must have some skills then to yeah. sew a wedding dress. But, um, we was in contact with some people that know Pat, and we've asked them to write some thank you messages. You were a kind-hearted, beautiful woman who I'm very grateful to have in my life. She'll love that. Mm. I'll use them. I'll Incredible. find a place. <laughs> Pride of place, I think, for that. These designer touches are all very well, but we need to get going on the true stars of the garden, the plants. Soil top. Are you guys done with your cauldron yet? Cauldron? cauldron? This is... Black granite, this is. Oh, it must make fantastic spells, then. Shall we see if they work? Well, I don't know. I think maybe we should see if we can get some plants in, maybe. Well, I'll try a spell first. Disappear. <laughs> it's time to bring this garden to life.